sound test room. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so uh, not long ago, I did a modular synth roundup for iPad. So modular synths that are available for your iPad. And they covered Modal Pro, Zemo's Modular, or just Modular, and Analog Kit. And then a couple of people said, yeah, you forgot Jesuto. This is true, I did. And uh, a, a couple of the others. So these are kind of semi-modular. Okay, although Jesuto does fit into the category of modular. It even says modular synth. So first of all, we're going to just uh, have a quick listen to a preset. And so, you, so you bring it up here and you can, you'll can you be able to see. So you have these things here, so you can have advanced complex effects instruments. Let's pick, let's pick sequences and we'll pick uh, this one here. And then you just open and it will start off. Now... You can set up uh, Jesuto to do anything you want, and you have different. You can affect everything as well. So it is a true modular synth uh, in in the fact that you just set up modules like this. Okay, so we can open another one here. Let's try another one. Open that, and of course it has a load of presets, so you could sort of dig in and start playing around with them. Don't really know how it works. I know that if you tap on any module, you get the actual things for for the, that particular module. So, Jesuto, there it is. Next, we're going to have a look at IVCS3. And this is a patch I made. Called Playable Drone. So IVCS3 uh, is semi-modular. Again, you connect patches here, module style, to make everything sort of work, and you can assign different bits and pieces everywhere. So I, IVCS3. I particularly like IVCS3 IVCS3 because I've absolutely no idea how it works. It's just nice to play around with the different sounds. So yeah, so there's IVCS3. Next, we're going to have a look at Versin's Teresynth. Now this is again kind of a semi-modular. You add your modules here. So if you, for instance, to, were to start with, uh, 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 if you go to others here, you can hit initialize, and it will be a just a just a, a sawtooth wave. Oh, it is Sawtooth Wave. And then you could choose, uh, I don't know, different ones. And that's how you build your module up like this. You go along there and you build it up. Very complex stuff. The good thing is, of course, is that it has a big load of presets already thrown in for you of all sorts of different things. And they're all very, very good, of course, because they're some great. Okay. So next along, we're going to take a look at Caustic. Now, Caustic is your kind of, although it's audio bus compatible, it is a total, total sort of synth in 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 in, in one type thing. And this is a, a module that I'm working on, which is kind of like an epic massive synth. <laughs> Which you can do with, uh, if we just get rid of the keyboard a sec, you'll see here you can add different modules. But the easiest thing to do is if I select a, a patch from the modules, let's go with Cool Breeze and load that, you can see how it works. Now it's caustic, uh, This the module in caustic is very similar to how Reason works. So if you're familiar with Reason, what you can do is you get, you first of all, you can choose from many different mod, uh, many different synths and stuff. This is the modular synth. Okay, so let's go back to that. So it doesn't have an on-screen keyboard. It does work with MIDI, so if you need to play it, you do this. And if you flip around the back here, a bit like Reason, you can. this is where you can connect everything and do different things and connect your, your patch cables to different bits and pieces and oh, whatever, how it works. But, you know, that's how, how it does it. And you can, like I said, you don't have to. You can still select. Get rid of that. 
you can still select different um different sounds if we flip back here you can we can select from stacks and stacks of stuff here the sound like <coughs> So there's modular synth, uh, the modular, the, the, the actual unit that sits inside um, Caustic is a true modular synth in that respect. Okay, so next along would be synth Q. Okay, load. Very nice. The queuing synthesizer. So again, this is kind of semi modular. Um, you can add modules and things. Um, And it sounds very, it sounds very modular too. So, for instance, let's see. All right, I can't remember now. Um, different things. Here's a, a different preset. So we have. I'm trying to edit. It doesn't just do effects, by the way. It does, <laughs> it does other sounds as well. But anyway, that's you basically do this, and then then you set. I can't get rid of it. How do we get rid of that? Pick a lead. Thanks. I will. Go back to presets. Ah, there you go, tap screen. Knob. And then you can add different modules here, I think. So if we add a... Yeah, and it just jump in at the end there. And let's, if we add a... Oh, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Can't see a thing. You can add different modules as you go. So that's how SynthQ works. Someone ought to do a really good tutorial. Next along, we're going to look at Sunvox, the massively... An incredible Sunvox. Sunvox is beyond beyond my um, truly beyond my my scope of time to learn. But you can completely build up a module, totally totally from scratch, just by adding different things from from here. You can build them in there. Uh, Tim Webb did a really good one on 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 building a patch for this as well. So anyway, that's how that that's how that works, Sunvox. And of course, let me see. You can. Oh, you see, I haven't don't because I don't use it. I'm not really. Um, that's modules. I'm not really familiar with, with Sunvox. Just want to see some of the different load project examples, and let's just load something. Okay, and then I think if we press play, wherever it is. This is the kind of very cool stuff you can do with some box. And we could say to cover clicks, have another look at another one. Load. built inside inside some box so there's some box and we'll move along to Thor okay it's Thor again is is kind of semi modular you should just watch some of Jacob's videos for this. Um, we'll go to this, and your modules are kind of here. This is your your type, so you can change your modules out. You can drop things in for your oscillator. You can basically change everything the way it works. 
and that's how that works I, I don't know how it works because i don't spend time programming since i spend all my time making demos and playing with presets and uh, i would like to be able to, <laughs> to work modular since but i can't so i'm not going to kid you and say i can <laughs> But yeah, you can you can select there. I mean, of course, it comes with a like a zillion. Zillion presets. Um, that you can then change. And I see there's nothing there. So you could add a module there. I don't know. And it's weird. I don't know how, how they connect together. But oh. Like maybe like that. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, so that's Thor, which is kind of a semi-modular. And I think the last one is the IMS 20. Oh, this is a piece that I was playing with yesterday by just moving all these cables around. So you can see that, um, let me just make that stop. Choose another sound instead. Okay. So by changing the different um, different things. Uh you can do it modular style like that. IMS twenty is very cool of course and uh, much loved. Uh, and you can play it with p pads and stuff. I mean, I tap, I'm explaining this, but you already know. If you're probably familiar with the Korg IMS20. But you have things like uh, the sequencer as well. And I think you can actually... Um, oh, let's see, what's this? IMS20 is. Yeah, you can look at, look at certain parts of the um, controller as well by zooming in so it's not too difficult on the eyes you can go over there to the patch panel and then back to control panel so you can actually see what you're doing and it does react exactly like an ms20 did okay guys so anyway basically so this isn't really a demo of any of those it's just a roundup of the kind of semi-modular synths you can get and uh, most of them you're going to be familiar with anyway and uh, yeah Jesuto i would say is definitely a true modular and the others are kind of uh kind of semi-modular uh, in the fact that you know they do other things or maybe some boxes some boxes pretty modular it's built up of modules so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this guys if you have liked the video subscribe to the channel visit us at the soundtesterrooms.com where me colin and jacob will try and help you out with everything we can and uh yeah i will see you guys later